Day 6, July 1st, Canada Day. Here we are in the Canadian bush. We're about 37 nautical miles from Yellowknife, and that's about 40 miles from any vehicle whatsoever. It took us about 30 minutes to get here by float plane. It's the only way accessible to this area. Right now, we got to this little secluded location. The only way you can get here is by canoe. So we're going to do some exploring here, and we're going to go canoeing and explore that inlet right over there. We're going to head out on the canoe and do some exploring. With all our mosquitoes protecting There are multiple mosquitoes, so as soon as you hit one, there was another one biting you on the other side. That's why you had to carry mosquito repellent wherever you went here. We soon discovered beavers living in this lake. We're just canoeing down a lake and we saw some beavers. Chasing them down. Yep. We canoed down several of the bays and would later eventually stop at one of the islands. Where are they? We're all the way there. Okay. The beavers were sure curious at us. Try to swim. Found some beavers, that's good. Where's the whole family now? Jeff tried to pull my leg and say that some beavers may attack us and defend their territory, but they were pretty peaceful. Alright. We're back in the Northwest Territories on a lake called Water Lake. This area, we're about uh, 1,200 miles from Linden in Seattle area, Vancouver, BC. Right now, today's Canada Day. We're right here in the wilderness, nothing's around us. Everything, we have about 10 million lakes in this Northwest Territories. And we're drifting in one right here in our canoe. And it's pretty far, if we left you right here, you'd be lost for years. You'd, you'd never survive in this wilderness unless you just fish and maybe beavers, and moose around here, bears around here. Nothing, no fruit trees, nothing. Here we have a beaver dam right on the lake. We'll zoom up to one of the trees to see it. See, that's how it, he bites it. Now we're on an island in this rugged country. We're gonna take a look at these trees. This is the average tree for you. It's almost like two inches in diameter. Okay. We came from that direction and we stopped at this island. I'm here for one minute and then I'm going to continue back by canoe. We need, we want to take off later on and go back to Yellowknife. I brought some snacks with me. Here I have a sprouted seed bar that I brought with me. I tried to be quiet to avoid attraction of any bears in the area. Trevor started the fire along with Jeff, and then Greg over here was preparing the salmon. They were the two caretakers at the lodge. Greg brought his chainsaw to cut down a tree and create firewood for us. This was Florence talking with Daryl, and then we had over here Yvonne and Robin also talking. Greg was a pretty good chef. Of course, Trevor was also helping stir the potatoes on the grill. Water is coming from next to the Yeah, there was a real rip torrent in the sounds. They've got, oh yeah! <laughs> and there was my plate on the ground. After a lunch, we were all tired, so we all took a nap on the rock next to the waterfall behind us. Trevor and Greg had to go back to their jobs in Yellowknife, so Daryl offered to fly them back to the city, which was only about a 30 minute flight. There was no way of avoiding all the bugs and mosquitoes. They would simply fly into the airplane, then you'd have to deal with them as you flew along. Oh well, that was part of the fun and experience of being in the far north. I accompanied Daryl since there was an extra seat for the flight out to Yellowknife. 
none of these lodges had to lock their doors because it was super ultra safe. No one was out there. In fact, you couldn't see a human for miles. This was Daryl, the pilot. Then we had Trevor, me, of course, in the front. And then the far back behind me was Greg. Finally, we were arriving back to Yellowknife. We made our approach, looked for the direction of the wind, and landed on the water to drop our two passengers off. Foxtra Bravo Golf Hotel was his aircraft tail number. This aircraft was actually featured in the movie called Snow Dogs. Are you guys just popping back on and leaving? And then we returned back to Water Lake Lodge. This was the area, actually, and we were planning our approach back to land. Looking at the aerial view, this was the lodge right here. There was the waterfall, and that's the location where we had our picnic earlier in the day. We came in for a low approach to buzz the lodge. There it was. And that concluded Canada Day 2003. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 7.